Today's announcement follows up on what Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said last week. The border will be open to vaccinated Americans on August 9th. The border has been closed to non-essential travel since March of last year. This has resulted in a big drop off in traffic across the Peace Bridge. Total traffic for the first six months of this year down almost 37% from 2020 and more than 67% from 2019. Part of the reopening plan is based on Canada's increased vaccination rate. More than half of all Canadians are now fully vaccinated, outpacing the U.S. after lagging behind for months. Tonight, Febin Kasahun takes a closer look at when you can cross into Canada. In March of 2020, we implemented some of the strictest border measures in the world. We restricted non-essential travel and we prevented the importation of COVID-19. Canadian government officials are now moving towards a new normal, easing travel restrictions in layers. Travelers will have to be fully vaccinated with a Health Canada authorized vaccine at least 14 days prior to entering the country. Beginning August 9th, the country plans to allow entry to fully vaccinated U.S. citizens and permanent U.S. residents for non-essential travel. These travelers must be vaccinated at least 14 days before entering Canada. They must continue to provide proof of a valid COVID-19 molecular test as is currently required. They must also be asymptomatic. We will shift to a mandatory randomized testing for fully vaccinated travelers. So only those that have been randomly selected will need to complete a day one test. This shift allows us to focus efforts on unvaccinated travelers while still keeping track of new variants. Children under 12 will be exempt from quarantining, but will have to follow strict public health measures. This means they can accompany their parent or guardian out of the house to their destination so long as they avoid group settings like summer camps, school or child care for 14 days. On September 7th, Canadian officials plan to allow entry for fully vaccinated travelers from any country for non-essential traveling. However, the restriction on direct commercial and private passenger flights to Canada from India is being extended for another 30 days until August 21st. Eligible fully vaccinated American citizens and permanent residents must also meet the pre-arrival testing requirements. In other words, they must continue to provide proof of a valid COVID-19 molecular test as is currently required. Now, Ashley, while vaccinated U.S. travelers can will be able to visit Canada, it is important to note that as of news time, the U.S. has not announced a reciprocal opening for the border. All right, Fabin, thank you. The border announcement comes as we continue to see COVID-19 case numbers rise. Western New York's seven-day positive test average is now the highest it's been since before Memorial Day. Statewide, the seven-day average is at its highest mark since May.